Welcome to Support Videos for Control-M Workload Automation Video Series. Today we will discuss Control-M security levels when using encryption. Control-M uses security levels to identify encryption and trust. Security Level 1, which encrypts traffic between endpoints, uses a method similar to SSH. When using Security Level 1, both parties must be configured to the same level. This is only available for communication between core components such as Enterprise Manager to Control-M Server and Control-M Server to the Control-M Agents. Security Level 2 uses SSL but does not validate the certificate. As long as the certificate has a valid date range, the communication will proceed. Security Level 3 is commonly referred to as server authentication. The client will validate the SSL server certificate using its own internal key store. Security level four is commonly referred to as client server authentication. In addition to the steps performed in security level three, the client will send a certificate to the SSL server for authentication. In this security level, the server must have a copy of the CA chain to validate the client certificate. When using security level four, both parties must be configured to the same level. Keep in mind that control and components act as both an SSL server and SSL client it's best to synchronize the security levels between all components. Control and core components support security levels one through four. Managed file transfer supports security levels two through four, and they are assigned at the connection profile level. Keep in mind that when using secure level four, you are setting a certificate to identify the client. BMC provides demo certificates with the product, which are the same in all installation. To meet your company's security policies, you will more than likely need to replace these certificates. You can find more information on replacing these certificates in our knowledge base and on YouTube. Now on to our demo. Okay, in this environment we're logged in as the Enterprise Manager user. As you can see, we've navigated off of the EM Home Directory to the Etsy Site Resource Directory. Here's where the SSL configuration is contained. If this was a Windows machine, this would be located under HKEY Local Machine, Software, BMC Software, Control and Enterprise Manager. Let's take a look at the policy files that are located here. As you can see, there is a site.plc. This holds the defaults. There's a gateway, an EM, and a CMSG. You can find more information on these in the SSL documentation. So today, let's start by looking at the site PLC and let's see if there's a defined security policy there. And as you can see, this just contains some directories and some provider options. So I want to focus on the gateway today, so let's take a look at its PLC. And here you'll find that security level is already set to 4. Um, this is where you would adjust this and then you would have to restart the gateways for this tech effect. Now let's move to the control room server. And let's take a look at the policy files that are here. And you see there's some additional policy files. There's typically one for each process. Again, these are documented in the SSL guide. So let's take a look at the site.plc. And in this case, we see that security level has been set default for the client and for the server. And this is referring to whether it's SSL client or server. Um, this is what we talked about earlier, is this needs to be synced up between the two. Um, we, let's take a look at the co.plc and let's see if there is an override in this. Okay, and then you notice in this one there's not a security level, so this is actually set at the site level. And last, let's take a look at the agent. And you can see it's similar to the control room server and that the security level is set in the site. Um, we can verify that there's nothing set inside of the agent. Oh, and in this case, there actually is. So in this case, the agent was set to three and this will override. So if we wanted to use secure level four, we would update this to secure level four and then just restart the agent. Let's take a look at the MFT. So in MFT, we have a connection profile here that's configured for SSL. And when we go to advanced, you can see that SSL is enabled. 
and here's the security level two through four, which is available for file transfer. That concludes today's demo. This concludes our Control Room Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.